We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? I'm uh, <laughs> uh, uh, doing all right, Ooh. Jared. Your noise gate did not like that sound. <laughs> all right, you, uh, should I try it again? <laughs> no, no. Okay. I feel like if you did the I sound better, it. your noise gate would like it less, ironically. I was going to turn it off, but either way, how are oh, you doing? Well, that would, that would also work. Uh, you know, it's all good. You know, we, I know we got, we, you know, I it's know all, it's here's the thing. We've been talking to each other for two hours already. So it's mm -hmm. just inherently weird. And I get that it's because it's the beginning of the show and that's just what we do. It's inherently weird <laughs> for you to ask me how I'm doing when we've already been talking for two hours. All right. It is our Sloop Hits Week <laughs> 4 episode here. So we're going to we're going to jump right into it here. Uh, we got six games. We are going to pick the seventh one. You'll just have to listen to our previous episode where we got to know our enemy, Wisconsin. So be sure to check that episode out if you have not already. So let's let's get right into it. We're going to go right in order of uh, time wise. So noon games here. We got two noon games we are going to pick from. First one is an ACC battle of Clemson heading on over to Wake Forest. And Clemson is a seven and a half point favorite. Clemson is a seven and a half point favorite. Um, I don't like Clemson this year. Uh, but here's the thing. I am also not buying into Wake Forest ranked 21st either. Like, let's be clear, like. Liberty Vanderbilt. Um, and whoever the hell VMI is. They're the cadets. Who the hell's VMI? I don't know. We're moving forward. I, um, I don't know. Um, I, I'm, I'm not worried about it. This is this is proving the point. Uh, Zach says it's a military school, which makes sense because they're called the cadets. Um, but yeah, uh, moving forward, the I, I'm just not I'm like I'm just just saying that I'm not buying any of this Wake Forest love or excitement. Um, Virginia Military Institute. Thank you, Zach. Uh, so even though I don't like Clemson this year, they still have a, an enormous talent mismatch here. Um, these points are not enough to scare me away. So I'm going to stick with Clemson. I, I agree. I agree. I, I think Wake Forest will keep it close, but then Clemson's talent will just take over in that second half. So yeah, I'll, I'll take Clemson. I don't, this, this is a <laughs> 10 to seven final that, that that would be funny. Yeah. I think this is just going to be, I think it's going to be the complete opposite of that. I think it's going to be a high scoring, high scoring game here, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take Clemson to cover the other, the other noon game here, Jared, that we have, uh, what about is nomad Baylor is Baylor heading on. Oh, nomad. Did he give us the picks? He did. Yes. Had to scroll down. All right. So Nomad is our guest picker for this week. Nomad is a fellow Sloop Cat and mod in our Discord. Did I say something wrong, Jared? Fell these are the these are the two things you do. They're patrons on Patreon, and you say fellow Sloop Cats. We're the host. They're the Sloop Cats. I said fellow Sloop Cat. Yeah, but you're not a sloop cat. I know. I didn't say I was a sloop cat. But that's what we'll talk about it later. <laughs> we'll talk about it when we get home. All right. He says here, Clemson's defense is always good, and Wake has a horrible record <laughs> against top 10 opponents. But with their offense, give me Wake to cover. <laughs> I'm sorry, Buckeye Zach, because mom and dad are arguing again. <laughs> oh, that's that's so funny. Um, 
I'm not buying into, I'm still not buying into Baylor. I don't buy into Baylor. I've never bought into Baylor. I don't know why they are still, uh, were we not doing Baylor? You're in Clemson. I, I already gave, I already gave you my Clemson prediction. Yes. And I just read Clemson's, I read his Clemson pick here. Oh, okay. I, I was too busy laughing at Zach. All right, now we're going to co cover Baylor and Iowa State, Jared. <laughs> the Cyclones. I need to collect myself. A, Cyclones are a two and a half point favorite at home. Yes, they are. All right, now, now, now you can talk about Baylor, Jared. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I don't like Baylor. I never liked Baylor. I never understood the hype around Baylor. Um, they already lost to BYU. Granted, it was in two overtimes, but BYU also just got absolutely stomped by Oregon. Now, you could absolutely accurately, somewhat accurately make the argument, potentially accurately. I don't know how, what I'm trying to say here, um, that one of the reasons why Baylor may have struggled against, excuse me, why BYU may have struggled against Oregon might have been because they went to two overtimes against BYU. You know, there's lots of statistics about um, teams struggling the week after an overtime. Um, but the their two wins are against Texas State, uh, who um, is a, is a one of the lower Sun Belt teams, and then the Albany Great Danes. The Albany Great Danes. Kyle, this is great the Danes. You've first never off, heard of a Great Dane as a mascot. First, I, I approve of do, that. Do they? Do they? Do they? For the uh, record, I absolutely approve snacks? of that. Ooh, do they have Scooby? That see, that's a turnover prop. I can get around. I can get. I can get behind. <laughs> uh, yes, they are an FCS school, and it says uh, they're currently zero and three. Um. And uh, they're apparently 11th in the CAA. I, I don't know what the CAA is, uh, All right. but they're 11th in it. So not only is this an FCS school, this is a bad FCS school. This is a very yeah. bad FCS school. Um, so again, I don't. I'm still not buying into this Baylor hype, and I have no idea, none whatsoever, why they deserve to be ranked 17th, other than the fact that they were ranked kind of high preseason. Iowa State, on the other hand, is undefeated um, with a win over Iowa. Um, a win over Ohio, who's not one of the better Mac schools this year, but they're not an FCS school either. Uh, and then they also had their own cupcake win against uh, Southern Southeast Missouri, not even Southern Missouri, Southeast Missouri. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take Iowa State here. I like the program more, quite frankly, as far as just like their forward momentum as a program. And I just never bought into the Baylor hype at all. So Iowa State is favored by two and a half here don't like either team so i'm i'll pick the i'll pick the two and a half points for for a baylor here so I, I, i'll take baylor to cover i don't like either team so i'll i'll take baylor in this one ohio and, beats iowa state no they literally lost to uh, 43 to 10 that that they actually played that and it it didn't so didn't no go well for the bobcats says, Nomad here says Iowa State always seems to have a letdown shortly after a program important win. Give me Baylor to cover. Over an important win, they just played Ohio. He's probably talking about Iowa. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, moving on to our three thirty games here. Uh, we have Minnesota and. Sparty, Sparty yeah. coming off that that disappointing loss, just absolute just beat down from from uh, Washington and their and everyone's favorite quarterback in our Discord. Uh, <laughs> so they are giving Minnesota a three and a half point favorite in this game. 
It is it is being played in East Lansing. Um, so let's talk about Minnesota. Minnesota has had uh, some great looking wins, uh, huge point spreads. Um, but we have to say but here. We have to. Um, but. New Mexico State. We talked about New Mexico State a lot on the Thursday episode. They're one of the bottom group of five teams. Um, mm-hmm. They beat Colorado and like, no, no, no shade on Minnesota on that. I, you, when you schedule Colorado, you're expecting a certain level of, of quality. And I don't think Colorado really delivered on that because uh, they're just not not good this year. Um, when, when, when's the last time Colorado has been good? Uh, I mean, well, I don't mean like good, good. I mean, like middle of their conference. Good is what I mean by when have, they, when have they been middle of their conference. Good. I think they've had a couple middle of the conference years at in the Pac-12 as well as the Big 12. They haven't been like good, good since. God, when, didn't they win a national title like in the early 90s? Um, but yeah, they haven't even been like interesting since cordell stewart uh but yeah they haven't okay all right (laughs) kyle's really judging me on saying that minnesota or excuse me that uh colorado is sometimes up to the quality of mid which was i think the highest compliment i was trying to give them um i'm seeing here last year they were tied (laughs) four the year before that the covid year they were second and then fifth sixth sixth Oh, they got first. They got first in 2016, but lost in their uh, bowl game. Six, 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 fifth, 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 fourth. They haven't. They no, no, Jared. I'm not. I'm. I'm not going to give give you that one. <laughs> All right, if it if it makes you happy, but they they did win the they did win they the. Did. Okay. All right. They did. Point is. They did. Uh, that the uh, Colorado is also not good this year. So we also, you know, we have to take a look at the Minnesota wins and call them into question um, because before Michigan state played a real opponent in Washington, they too were putting up huge point spreads against Mac schools, uh, Western Michigan and Akron. I, I think that the hate on Michigan state has gone too far. I think is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, we're, we're looking down on Michigan State because they had the audacity of losing to a team in which they actually chose to challenge themselves. So I I think the hate on Michigan State has gone too far. Uh, so if you're going to give me points to take Michigan State, I'm going to take those points. What, what's, what's rule number two, Jared? Don't real life gamble. When it, okay. All right. That, Yes. What's rule number three? <laughs> uh, when in doubt, pick the quarterback. Yes, correct. And that's why in this game, um, when in doubt, pick the running back. Um, I'm picking Minnesota in this game. I think I, I really, Ibrahim is just having a monster season so far here. And I think he's going to be able to run over Sparty here. So give me Ibrahim in this game. All right. I'll take Minnesota to cover. All right. Nomad here says Minnesota is sneaky good and Sparty looked suspect in Seattle last week. Maybe just a little. And he says, give me Minnesota. I Minnesota is totally untested at this point. That's that's my only that's my only yeah, take and, here. And Sparty was, and they weren't up to the challenge. No, they were not. All right. Zach um, says Minnesota in... wins 38 to 24. I, I uh, dude, too the over points. too many points. That's, that's a lot of points. Uh, the over under is currently set at 51. If that tells you um, anything. So I think it's going to be more of like a, I think it's going to be more of like a 28 to 17 game. Well, not, not even that maybe like a 24 to 17 game, something like that. Uh, 28. To I mean, like if you if you actually like parsed the numbers here, it would end up being what like a, approximately to make it actual football numbers like twenty seven to twenty four. 
I think yeah. is approximately like if you parse the Vegas numbers, that's about what it would look like. Um, mm -hmm. If you wanted to run it as chalk as possible. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next We're doing, game. Doing, doing, doing math live. It's always a good idea. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're heading south. We're doing Florida and Tennessee. Man, Jared, Florida and Tennessee. Yeah. Oh, it 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 is a ranked it's, game this year. I think <laughs> it's w only one of three rank on ranks this week. Oh, is it? Uh, one of two. One of two Which rank three? on ranks. I see three. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It is three. It is three. I for I forgot four. Wake Forest was ranked because <laughs> they shouldn't be. Can I get a four? Uh no, no, no fours. All right. Um, yeah, Florida and Tennessee. Tennessee is a ten and a half point favorite, Jared. They are. Am, am I am I reading that right, Jared? Ten you and are. a half. You are. And as far as I can tell, that's where the number is still at at the time of us recording this. Uh, and here's the thing. Sorry, I, I read I read Nomad Spick. <laughs> okay. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, the it, it appears that the love uh, that Florida received after defeating allegedly top ten Utah um, seemed to have gone seemed to have gone too far. Um, and they're still somehow ranked after losing last week. Mm -hmm. uh, two weeks ago, they lost to Kentucky two weeks ago. They could have maybe even should have la lost last week to uh, oh, yeah, South to Florida. It. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they, they only defeated South Florida by three points. Um, Tennessee at least has. Um, I must say at least has a quality win because of course beating Utah is still a quality win, even if they were completely overrated, uh, but a really nice win against a, a good pit team. Um, Tennessee is capable of scoring points. This, this is a, this is a real live breathing team. Um, I'm normally like Tennessee is one of those teams where people love to anoint them as back. They're like Michigan. They're like Texas. It's, it's, it's like Tennessee. It's in Tennessee, Zach. Yes, it's in Tennessee. Um, I I like, I don't love, but I, I like what Tennessee's doing, um, at least from the uh, offensive side. I really like Hooker. Um, and despite the the one game hype around Richardson at, at Florida. I think that's been proven to have been a huge ever reaction at this point. Yeah. So that is, I'm going, is... I'm going Tennessee here. I hate taking Tennessee plus 10 and a half. I really do. That number makes me uncomfortable, but I, I, I don't want to take Florida. I think this could be a total boat race. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to, I'm just going to pick Florida here. That seems like a lot here. But man, I, I I was never up for that whole Richardson hype, even though he had that monster running game against um against Utah. But look look at this though. Richardson, Jared, 53% completion. Yeah. Has four interceptions and uh -huh. zero touchdowns for the yeah. year past. Kyle, I might can I can I try and convince you to change your pick? No, because I already locked it in. Points per game. Mm -hmm. Points scored per game. Florida, yep. 25. Tennessee mm -hmm. 52. Okay, who has Tennessee played though? Uh Pitt and a pair of Mac teams. Yeah, and those pair of Mac teams is what bolstered their their um their points per game there where they scored 59 and 63 against Akron. They scored okay. 34 against against Pitt here. Yeah, I think like yeah, maybe yeah, I think Tennessee would win this game, but 10 and a half is still too much, too much for me. So yeah, like a there's 30, there's a second like half a, to my argument. Like a 30 34 to 25 game, 26 game, whatever. I I can totally see that. 
points allowed per game. Florida 26.7, which, by the way, is more points than they're scoring per game. They're giving up, on average, more points than they're scoring. Uh, Tennessee, on the other hand, allowing only 14 points a game. And yes, I know the opponents have been lesser. Like if we if we if we tried to make Pitt and Utah equals. Uh, you're still comparing, you know, Ball State to Kentucky which is mm -hmm. a, a, not a comparison at all. Uh, Kentucky's obviously much better of a team. Yeah. So, I mean, so, I mean, I get what you're saying. The competition has been much tougher, but mm -hmm. I, I just think that Tennessee looks like a functioning team and Florida doesn't. Yeah. So for Nomad's pick here, I, I don't know if he's going to follow through with this, Jared. But he says, I hate the entire SEC, so fuck this pick. <laughs> that he's not he's refusing to make a pick. That's what it says there, Jared. <laughs> Kyle, Zach is that says, a is that a sloop me, cast a first? Win. I don't see I don't see a cover though. All right. Uh, so I you know what? Here's the rule. We never had anyone do this before. So here's the rule. Um Nomad. Zach just picked for you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, them's the All rules. Right. And I know because right. I just wrote them. All right, moving it, moving ahead half an hour here. Uh, because Fox, uh, we're going, we're going out west here. This is not our um Pac 12 after dark, but it's our Pac 12 afternoon. Oregon there and Washington State. Oregon and Washington State, where Oregon is a six and a half point favorite. And I I got I gotta pick the the hot team right now. I gotta go with Oregon. I I understand I understand who Oregon's quarterback is and I understand what he's done in the past, but I just think Oregon just has too much firepower here. So I'll i I'll take Oregon. Um no matter what any Wisconsin fan will try and tell you Washington State is not a good football team. <laughs> if you want, if you want a little bit of insight into what Kyle and I's tone of the episode was uh, on Thursday, our Know Your Enemy episode, where we talk specifically about Ohio State versus Wisconsin, Wisconsin's one good opponent. I almost said good win, except they lost. Um, their one good opponent was Washington State, and they crumbled. Um, Washington State beat Idaho by only a touchdown. Mm -hmm. Idaho. Yeah. Um, and then they looked fine against Colorado State, uh, 38 to 7. Um, with I don't know much about that game, and I'm not going to pretend like I do. I don't, I don't know what ha what's happening there. Um, Kyle, it should be noted, uh, in case anyone was wondering, the Idaho Vandals are in the Big Sky Conference. The hmm. Big Sky Conference. Uh, so, yeah, what I'm saying here is that Washington State sucks. And I don't right. care so if you're got, free so you got Oregon. So I got Oregon. So got Oregon. All right. Nomad here says Oregon seems to have a have turned around their early thrashing of Georgia. Give me the ducks to cover. All right, and the last game we have here that we'll probably watch for half an hour and then turn it off is going to be Arkansas and Texas A&M. Now, why do you uh, say that? Texas... Do you think this is going to be a blowout? No, because there's there's another game going on uh, at 7.30 that we're going to be watching. So uh, I can watch as, two as, games. As, as, a, as, a, as an early, um, uh, as I'll, I'll read Nomad's pick here, kind of go along with that jared he says i can't say this enough fuck the sec as his pick zach <laughs> uh you're 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 up so, to the plate again zach so texas a&m is a two and a half point favorite <coughs> i just don't think this is texas a&m's year i i i'm going to I'm just going to I'm just going to double check. I don't think this is their year to to make a big splash in the SEC, but I 
I think they find I think do think they find a way to win it here. I just I'm just not on board with Arkansas. Uh, I I just don't I just don't feel it with for Arkansas here. And I think I think Texas A&M finds a way to win it here. And two and a half is pretty much a pick 'em for me. So I'll take Texas A&M here. Uh, both of these teams suck. Does, does someone need to say it? Does someone need to say it plainly? Both of these teams are wildly overrated. Does, does, does someone need to say that out loud and plainly? Because I'll do yeah, it. But it doesn't doesn't matter who loses. They'll still both be ranked. <laughs> I would like to think Texas A&M wouldn't be. You would think. Uh, they're only, I mean, they're 23rd now. Um, Shouldn't even be there. No, no, they should not. But Kyle, they beat Miami. Well, Miami sucks too. Miami was number 13. You know I don't care. I, they lost Appy State. They barely beat a Miami team that was wildly overrated. Um, and then they did to Sam Houston what you think they should do against Sam Houston. Not that they scored it's as many who? points. Is that is that who that is? Against who? Sam Houston. Who are they? Who's They're Sam? In... <laughs> uh, they are... are you in Houston. <laughs> they are in the whack. OK. OK. Uh, again, like they, so they, you got, they scored you got here, Jared. Uh, I'm just, I, I think both these teams suck, so I'm going to I'm going to throw my hands up and uh, go with what I think is maybe now rule four. Actually, I think one of the rules is don't play. And then there's like an ellipsis and then it's like, don't play Army, don't play Navy, don't play uh, North Dakota State. So I think that's one of the rules. I think that's rule don't four. Play, don't play the Big Ten West out of uh, <laughs> at uh, night. At night. Yeah, don't play the big. Don't go on the don't go on the road to the Big Ten West at night. Um, yeah. And then uh, so I think maybe rule five is when in doubt, uh, pick the pick the underdog. So that's what I'm going to do here. Ugh. Ugh. Jared's gone hogging. I, <laughs> apparently I have. <laughs> um, don't play South Dakota State either. Zach says, um, he, by the way, uh, Zach has picked Arkansas, uh, on, on Nomad's behalf. All right, Kyle, was that, was that our last game? That is. And let's hear from Nomad. Oh yeah. never mind. We already said Nomad. He said, yeah. uh, yeah. All right. That's it. So those are six all... of our seven games, uh, for the seventh game. Uh, go listen to our Thursday episode where we break down Ohio state versus Wisconsin. Um, spoiler. I like Ohio state. Um, but Hey, you, you get to find out what Kyle's into, right? I, 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 I hope, I hope you like Ohio state. What, what if I, what if I just did like a full heel turn and all of a sudden, like, I can't, I can't even say it. I was going to say and start cheering for, you know, who, and I can't not even now back outside of the character. Can I say it? Maybe. No, I'm not going to say it. I couldn't. I couldn't force myself to say it. <laughs> like even for the bit, even like in the character, I couldn't force myself to say it. All right. Kyle, do we have any ask Sloopcast questions for uh, uh this episode? For for these games here, no, the it's been pretty light here. No, Most no questions for... regarding to regarding to this here. But Jared, we are bad at our job, and we forgot to change our logo. This is what happens <laughs> when Austin leaves early and doesn't tell me I'm stupid. Uh, so everyone, <laughs> everyone, pretend that this that this was here the entire time. Because it's actually it's one of my favorite branding that we do, and then sometimes I just forget to put it up. So everyone maybe we just, just need to put like a little. Maybe we just need to put a little sticky note, like all right, all right, the um, recording on, noise gate off, and add this as our last thing before we say and waiting for the countdown. 
Yeah, I, I need I I need like a, a pilot pre-flight checklist, I think is what you're saying. There, there you go. Yes. No, that's it. That is all we have for today's episode. Uh, he's trying to sleep, Zach. <laughs> if he responds, I'm going to be pissed because that means he could have stayed up and and watched. <laughs> so he better not respond. <laughs> uh all right um yep that's it that's the end of the show um i want to encourage everyone to visit sloopcast.com what's at the sloopcast.com links to other things jared why can't we just go to the other things well because sometimes there's too many things to mention um and even then like you might just forget right like i can tell you uh sloopcast or excuse me patreon.thesloopcast.com see i messed it up did you see that? I messed it up. That's why you should just go to the sloopcast.com and find all the links there so you can just click them. You can go to patreon.thesloopcast.com and there you can uh, donate money to the podcast. We're, we're actually like, we're really looking for some new contributors. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, that for as little as $3 a month, you can get early access to episodes. Like, um, or as an example, like we send out our, um, we send out our show on uh, through a service called Spreaker and we're part of an ad revenue thing with Spreaker. So like for those of you listening to the audio version of this, um, you get those like commercials played at the beginning in the middle of the show. If you sign up to our Patreon, uh, you actually get access to an RSS link that you can put into your podcast app and it doesn't have those ads. I found out there were people actually paying for that and didn't know that. <laughs> and I was like, guys, there's an RSS link through the, there's the you have a secret Do RSS it. link. Do it. Use it. Uh, so yeah, if you don't like those commercials, you can, you can subscribe on Patreon or you can check us out on YouTube. We don't have commercials on YouTube either. Um, so not yet anyway. So if you want to avoid those commercials, um, hop over to youtube.sleepcast.com. And another thing you can do to sort of help spread us, um, if you want to like share some of our content to your friends, um, but like, hey, you don't want to share like an hour long or this one will be more like 30 minutes long episode because like that's a lot to just sort of hand to someone. Um, you can actually show them our YouTube shorts page. So you get like, 60 second ish highlights so you could just show them a couple highlights real quick on your phone and be like hey you should check these guys out they're they're a lot of fun i we're also you can also find those highlights on instagram and tiktok so yeah that's i think that's all the plot and by the way if you're looking for any links on any of that stuff guess where you can find them kyle the doobly doos the sloopcast.com but you can but you can find a hyperlink to the sloopcast.com down in the show notes down in the doobly doos uh so yeah you can, so you can you can go down to the show notes you can click the sloopcast.com and then you can find all of our links from there Kyle do you have anything in Kyle's corner I do uh right. what's some basketball news oh yeah we talked we talked about this, but we talked about this. Oh, by the way, uh, on the Patreon, you also get uh, access to an exclusive fifth episode. Uh, that's uh, a lot of fun. It's kind of our horse around episode. Is that what this news is? Because yeah. we I forgot we um, I forgot we didn't talk no, about this publicly. It's it's not. Oh, you might want to mention that as well, because it's also a big deal. I know it is. Uh, <laughs> on top of what I was about to say here. Uh, yeah. Ohio State has a. um got a new um recruit here and i am pulling this up real quick here and it is four star combo guard which i've never heard of a combo guard before but it's a recruiting way, terminology yeah it's um Payson chatham chapman excuse me uh who's the number 31 overall prospect in basketball and this is the fourth commit for Ohio State's class. And I believe this is their third top 50 player for this class. Yeah, Ohio State lost a um, a guard uh, a month or so back. 
And a lot of people were speculating as to why that might be. There you go. I, th I think this is why. Yep. There you go. No, what I was saying was uh, today, as we're recording this, Jared, on Wednesday, uh, student tickets were, were made available. And within just a few hours, they were all sold out. Nice. The Buckeye, the, the Buckeye students uh, came out in full force and got got the season tickets all sold out within a short period of time. Austin, go to bed. Go to bed, Austin. Good job, get out. Zach. Look what you did. Look, Look you woke you up, Austin. Get, that's it. Austin, get out. Go to bed. <laughs> all right, that's it, Jared. That is all, all we have for today. All right. Um, yep. Uh, so one more time to end out the week of mother folk songs. We're doing one more mother folk song. So stay tuned for that. If you're listening to the audio version of the podcast, you can just do nothing. And the songs may be already playing, depending upon how long the intro to the song is. Uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, we don't play music on YouTube because YouTube. Um, so you can you can check that out. Uh there's a link to the song that we're going to play down in the show notes. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music and support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Mother Folk. <laughs>